because he was very gay when he got there. <laughs> he won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. This is work on the murder case until then. Right. We should ask everybody where they were yesterday. Every single bird in the entire school. What are they gonna do? Leave? The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself with baseless suspicions, brother. Yeah, I know. I think maybe you trust him a little too easy, Sakuya. He's a world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. A leader figure that's not honest. Perish the thought. Can't believe it. You know nothing of what that means. The head of the Lebolf, the Lebellin family, my father, was once crippled with chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Iwamine. Iwamine yeah, because he's a... He's a world authority on medicine that still doesn't make him honest. He makes medicine? That guy? Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what contributions he's made to the medical world? I didn't know. I thought he was some, some kid of mad scientist. Cooking up nothing but that and all around world. I mean, he could also be a kid of a mad scientist. Don't judge him for the sins of his father. <laughs> You've become biased by the fearless rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. <laughs> Part of the family. <laughs> I mean, Ryota has been in that infirmary, like, basically day in, day out. He he's been around the doctor enough to know that the man's got some bad vibes. Don't judge the peasantry lest you forget what happened in the French Revolution. In any case, the Bell family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat the benefactor, treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? Well, no, because he's a he's a noble bird. It's just it, it's different rules. Anyway, let's go. I don't know why we needed a full screen box for that, but... Very well. Where are we going next? Uh, Matt gets to the side this time. Let's go to the gym. Maybe we'll find Okosa. The students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. <clears throat> Shut up with no explanation. And now there's a suspicious individual wandering the campus. I guess even doves lose their cool eventually. Son! Son, where are you? Ah, oh, see? He had the same idea as me! <laughs> Uncle Sun is right here! Alive and well! So far! <laughs> Where did you and Sakuya go? Leaving Uncle Sun behind and going outside is not fair! Life's not fair! 
just confuse the issue if we brought you along? We came back because we had a question for you. Come at me, whippersnapper! Ah, uh, that's not what I... You usually practice on the ground after school, right? Of course! It is Oko-san's duty as track captain! Did you see Molly while you were out there yesterday? No! Oko-san did not see her then, or as he was going home. Can we really be sure that he would have noticed her? Hey guys, what? Why did you skip that? Uh, whatever you said, good point. Quack, why did you skip that? I quacked by accident. You fool. Okotan thinks that you are speaking too slowly. Do not look down on Okosan's visual memory. If you had asked Okosan about the blood-stained interloper he saw, then he would have had something to say. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, son, what did you just? Do not look down on Oko-san's visual memory. After that, imbecile. If you had asked Oko-san about the blood-stained interloper he saw, then he would have had something to say. Oko-san saw the interloper going to the infirmary. Infirmary? Don't have been Bali? She wouldn't have been stained with blood until after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I... But stop doing that! It wasn't her blood! Speak faster then! I'm trying to be in character. Do you want me to just blaze through the dialogue? Yes. It was not Molly. It was a bird unknown to Okosan. Hurry up. So, someone covered in blood was going to the infirmary after school? Who in. Whoever he is, he's our prime suspect now. That's better. Thanks for telling us, son. At least we found something. Okay, like, in all seriousness, it was because I was vibing to the music. <laughs> <laughs> like, just... At, at the end of a sentence, I just instinctively clicked. Alright, well, go on. <laughs> Even if it raised more questions than it answers. You asked me to be faster, I'm being faster for you. Oko-san asked you to be faster. No, you did. No, Oko-san did. Oko-san's a fictional character, he cannot speak to me directly. You on the other hand are a real person, you are speaking to me directly, so it was you. It was spoken in the Oko-san voice, and therefore Oko-san was the one that told you to be faster. You can put on whatever voice you want, it doesn't change the facts and logic that you're being destroyed with. I will say this though, it is good that you are paying attention to what God tells you and and heed his words. Huh? Can't believe you don't remember. Let's uh let's 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 get over the story before before you embarrass Mom yourself. Mom and Dad further. are getting divorced. <laughs> Let it be known for the record that I am the one that initiated this divorce. I am the alpha male. I am the Chad. I play my games at 1 FPS. 
See, I can even get him to handle all the divorce stuff. I don't have to do anything. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I don't want to be an alpha male anymore. This is rubbish. <laughs> Let's carry on. Somebody whose son doesn't know. Could it have been someone from outside the school? Past noon already. Let's hurry onwards. Miss Downey. Wait, did I voice this character? Yeah. Uh. You yep, do it again. Come in. Hey, you're How goes with the, the voice. How goes the investigation up there? Well, I hope. We went to the headmaster's office as you requested, but it was locked, however. Yeah, we got attacked by this weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from. What's that thing? A muddy scarecrow like man, perhaps? Well, go on, fam. <laughs> Yuya! seen it too. The snow, yeah. On the second floor. I caught a glimpse at it from behind at the other end of the corridor and didn't stick around to let it see me. So alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Coward? Says the non crow that was scared by this scarecrow. Hey, we ran away as soon as we saw it, too. Anyway, it sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Mr. Arne. <laughs> Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two aren't planning the call off your investigation because of a bad guy too, either. Well, yeah, that's true. <sighs> oh. Already stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age. Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I'll be alright. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. You wonder, huh? Then again, knowing this call, there could be all kinds of evil going on behind the scenes. Yeah, never heard of workplace safety, that big boy? It was 2011, it was a different time back then. Well then, why are you standing around there? Oh, what are you standing around for? I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? I'm not like other birdies. Ooh. Exactly, it's built different. Yeah. I can't just sit around. Indeed. Same here. 
Hence walking around the school. On that note, I'd better go to the lab. Professor Nanaki wanted me there. What for? Something you ask him to do. Ah. He wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Iwamini. Most likely, yes. The doctor and Bali, that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. Right. Yeah? I hate you. According to the autopsy, Balls died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, huh? What did the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. You, you sus. We were inspecting and cleaning all day, so I can verify the doctor's alibi. Don't you not doubt him without evidence, brother? God just said, "What did this person say?" Oh yeah, I was there too. Ah, uh, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow, anyway. That's everything? Well, and you? We should head out, too. But first, let's write down what we've found. Alright, let's go. Writing down what we found. 